Have you guys ever thought about how you cleanse your, your kidneys, your organs, in your body? Your, how do you cleanse your gallbladder? How do you cleanse, say for instance, you got some intestinal problems? How do you cleanse things? So today we're going to talk about how to cleanse your kidneys. How do you know if you have kidney problems? Well, there's many different scenarios. I'm no doctor. I don't claim to be one. But I'm just going to give you something. If you do this stuff, this will help a lot of organs in your body. This will help you in a lot of things. It's great for heart health, cardiovascular health, and it's really overall health good for you. It's great for kidneys and gallbladder. Uh, it eliminates the kidney stones. It eliminates a lot of problems that you may have in your liver. So be, be listening to this. Berries, number one on our list. Berries, high in antioxidants, including, uh, which are, give them vibrant colors. Uh, helps kidneys from damage caused by free radicals. So berries. You know, berries can be blueberries, raspberry, cranberries. Great, great for you. Something with I really wish I could get here. Berries. Can't get any. Dark leafy greens. We can get those. Spinach, kale, collard, high vitamins and minerals, calcium and iron, vitamin K, which are important for kidney health. They're high. They're, they're also really good for, for someone that needs vitamin K. Vitamin K, sometimes people don't get enough vitamin K. And it's low in potassium too, which can help. Now, people with kidney disease or kidney problems sometimes don't realize and don't eat a lot of good vegetables. <clears throat> Turmeric is very good for you. Turmeric contains a compound called circadum, which is anti-inflammatory inflammatory, and antioxidant properties. It helps protect the kidneys from damage and helps inflammation. And garlic is another one. Garlic is high in antioxidants, helps protect the kidneys from damage. I need to eat more turmeric, cauliflower, garlic, and dark leafy greens myself. And we're always on the hunt for that, and most of the time we can find it. Not always. It's not like I can find cauliflower all the time. Not like I can find berries, but I can find garlic and turmeric and leafy greens. Cauliflower is another one. <coughs> Excuse me. People say, hey, uh, Tom, why do you cough all the time? Why do you do that? Well, you know what? I don't know why. I have uh, produced high mucus. Turmeric. We talked about that. Cauliflower. Cauliflower is low in potassium and high in vitamin C. Make good choice for people with kidney disease. Vitamin C is antioxidant. It helps protect the kidneys from free radicals. Who would ever thought an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Is that true? Would an apple a day keep the doctor away? It does in this case. It's high in fiber and antioxidants, including, uh, which is it has anti-inflammatory properties also. Uh, apples are really good for you. Uh, and eating apple a day does keep your doctor away. Onions. <clears throat> Onions is something that too, it has good flavonoids, which is antioxidants that help protect the kidneys from damage. And they have anti-inflammatory properties to help reduce inflammation in the body. We don't eat enough onions. We get what they call red onions here. We can get the, the yellow and the white, but not always. <clears throat> onions has been a problem for us for a while. Red bell peppers, high vitamin C, and they protect the kidneys also. So red bell peppers is something we, we need to look at as something that's positive. So red bell peppers is something that we can eat if you can actually find them. Uh, another thing on the list is cabbage. Cabbage is high in vitamin K, antioxidants, help protect the kidneys from damage, and it's low in potassium. It makes a good choice for people with kidney disease. Uh, of course, we already talked about blueberries and cranberries. <coughs> Pineapple, high. It's got it's high in bromelain, which has anti-inflammatory properties, help reduce inflammation to the kidneys. We try to eat a lot of pineapple when we can uh, and find it. A watermelon is a great item too to have. Watermelon is high in lycopene and antioxidants which can help protect the kidneys. Watermelon is really good. Watermelon is good for you for many different things. It actually helps uh, your kidneys flush out the, the uh, impurities that you have. And if you have watermelon, watermelon is really good for that. I, I, we don't eat, drink, eat enough watermelon. Uh, grapes is another one, uh, including uh, it has great properties. Grapes is something red or white grapes. Uh, it's really good for you. Uh, red grapes, 
is something that uh, I actually crave a lot of is red grapes and if we can find them it's really something that's really good for you to, to have and, and to, to, to uh, take. Now sweet potatoes is something that's high in vitamin A and fiber and they're low, low in potassium. Potassium is not good for your kidneys. It's a good choice for people with kidney disease. Sweet potatoes is something you can cook many different ways. Some people just put it in the oven. Some people just, uh, you can boil it. There's many ways you can cook it. But I like, I like mine in the oven. And I always like to add a little sugar to it. Although I, it's not good for me. But that's something you should not do. Just have a good old sweet potato on its own. Now sweet potato is something kids will eat a sweet potato for their sweet. And if you train your kids early on to have a sweet potato, that's probably a really good thing. And I tried to train R with that, but she got she smart, got smarter than I was. And when, when I first got here, I tried to tell her, this is sweet. Instead of eating this candy bar, eat this. But after a while, she loved candy bars a lot better. Carrots are high in vitamin A and antioxidants, which can help. Uh, carrots is really something that's really good. My mother always has beta carotene in it. And they're really good for your eyes, but it's also great for your kidneys. Carrots are really good to, to eat in general. Um, they carry a lot of vitamins, vitamin A especially. Another one is a ginger. Ginger is something that um, uh, all of us like to have ginger in a lot of the foods that we have. It's great for soups. It's great sometimes uh, to, to have uh, ginger tea. Uh, just take some hot water and uh, make you some ginger water. Uh, tea sometimes with the tea bag. It's entirely up to you, but ginger is really something to have. Uh, and I also need to take more ginger. I'm realizing as I'm reading this, a couple things that I'm going to start doing myself uh, to help. Uh, because I did this particular list about a month ago, and I found it. And I said, I remember doing this. It, it's not like, uh, you, you know, you wake up and you just say, okay, you do this, but you do research on it a little bit. Olive oil. Olive oil should be on everybody's diet. All the doctors, Dr. Berg, all the guys tell them if you have an olive oil a day and fish oil a day, you never have to worry about anything else in your life and plenty of vegetables and you should be fine. Olive oil is number one. It's healthy fats, which can help protect kidneys from damage. Olive oil is number one. Everybody should take olive oil no matter what. Fish oil should take fish oil no matter what. And you can live a long, healthy life with just those two items plus vegetables. Salmon is something high omega-3 fatty acids. Salmon is something that that I, I always crave salmon sometimes. We can get it here, it's expensive. Omer's wanting to play with my feet, and I don't want to play right now. So, Omer, be quiet there, little one. So, salmon, it's got omega-3, something that you can take to protect your, your kidneys. Tuna. Tuna, do you know what? Tuna's really good for you. It can help protect the kidneys from damage. I love fresh tuna. I, I think they call it kidney lout. I love kidney lout. It's uh, raw tuna. Uh, mixed with uh, some, some uses some chili powder or chili peppers, things like that. I love it. I love it here. One, one dish that they have here is really delicious is, is that tuna. Walnuts, great in healthy fats. Help prevent the kidneys from damage. It's one great thing to take is walnuts. Walnuts, walnuts. Almond, almond milk. Almond has healthy fats and antioxidants what can help protect the kidneys from damage. Last one on my list today, believe it or not, is flax seeds. Flax seeds is really something that's really good for you. Uh, if you can find flax seeds. Not everybody has flax seeds. I think you can order them online here in the Philippines. But flax seeds I know you can get readily in the States. Uh, a lot of health food stores always have flax seeds. They have walnuts, almonds. You can get all the wonderful nuts there. The only ones you have to be very careful with is peanuts. <coughs> peanuts are not as good for you as everybody thinks. Eat too many peanuts and cause allergies. So flax seeds are good, almonds is good, walnuts, uh, you can, uh, the pecans is good for you. So I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. And I want to thank everybody for spending a valuable time with me today. This is Tom from Tom and Ruth Healthy Lifestyle.